I'm meeting a group of dating app devotees at my local pub. And I have to say, it's not looking good. So this guy started off with a joke. Knock, knock, who's there? Dewey. Dewey who? Dewey have to wear a condom. Oh. Brilliant. <laughs> Everyone here uses technology as a major part of their dating strategy, and they believe it can be a route to romance. So I, I'd been on Tinder, um, sort of swiped this guy, he seemed pretty cute, and we started talking, kind of got on really well. Been talking for about four days. He obviously fancied you. He did. Um, so we went for a drink on the Tuesday, and just really hit it off. And then on Wednesday, we booked a holiday together. Oh, hang on a minute. This man's still current. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's still current. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. see, this, this it's getting quite slightly ruins my theory. On the plane on the way back, we both decided that we would both delete Tinder. By the time my mum was my age, she'd been married for 10 years and had four kids. That's so very rarely happens these days. That, like, it's just the, the, the way of life. And like, that people are like, oh, that wouldn't happen in my day. So like, that's the point. It's not your day anymore. Oh, I'm so confused. That. Lovely boy was saying, you can't say in my day we used to do it like this because it's not your day. And, and that's so true, you know, for those, those people around that table, that is dating to them, that is romance to them, and I, I can't tell them that it isn't. I'm more confused now than I ever was. A thousand friends seems excessive, but over a quarter of Facebook's billion users have more than 500 friends. So, is friendship on social media all about numbers? 